episode story number seven, Niffle and the Shadow Entity. In a cozy underground cavern, glowing softly with the light of thousands of dream bottles, Niffle, the tiny dreamkeeper, is humming a soft tune as he carefully tends to the bottles. His large twinkling eyes scan each dream bottle with care. <laughs> Niffle stops to look at the dark depths of the cavern where a sturdy ancient trunk of nightmares rest. He shivers slightly and hurries back to check the lock. Nightmares are trapped and contained, safe from harm, safe from dreamers, never to return. However, his presence is a constant reminder of the nightmares lurking in the shadows. Niffle turns his head and looks over to see the basement's entrance. He pauses and then continues to be cheerful while walking up backwards to the cavern. Dreams, dreams everywhere, safe and sound, every one of them. <laughs> but must keep watch, must stay vigilant, we don't want any nightmares, do we? Suddenly a chill fills the cavern. The bottles flicker and Niffle's ears twitch in alarm. Oh no, not nightmares. He turns around to see a dark entity materializing from the shadows, its form more menacing than any nightmare. Dreamkeeper, I have returned. Niffle takes a step back, his heart pounding. He remembers his entity visiting long time ago, and now it's here. He clutches his tiny hands, trembling, waiting for a fight with the shadowed entity if he needs to. I seek the nightmares, Dreamkeeper. I hunger for the energy. No, you can't have the nightmares. They must stay locked away. Niffle shakes his head, his eyes wide with fear and worry. Take me to the nightmares, little one. No, you can't have them. Nightmares are dangerous to the dreamers. The entity moves closer his presence chilling in the air. Niffle shivers but stands his ground, his mind racing for a way to stop the entity. Nightmares are tasty, Dreamkeeper. I'm getting hungry. Take me there now or face the consequences. Niffle's eyes dart around the cavern, looking for a solution. He takes a big deep breath in, trying to stay calm. If you want the nightmares, you have to catch me first. With a quick click of his fingers, Niffle teleports to the other side of the cavern, grabbing an empty dark bottle along the way. He uncorks it slightly, ready to catch the shadow entity if possible. If you want me, come get me. I do not wish to harm you, little one. I only want to feed on the nightmare's power. So the dark entity moves closer to Niffle. There's no nightmares here, you need to leave. The entity lunges towards Niffle and he clicks his fingers once again, teleporting to the other side of the cavern. The entity searches for him, growing increasingly frustrated. You have to be quicker than that. You're testing my patience, Dreamkeeper. Do not toy with me. The shadow entity calls for Niffle, searching for him. Dreamkeeper, where are you? Ah. Niffle teleports in front of the shadow entity. There's no nightmares here, you need to leave. Go away, you monster! This is not over, Dreamkeeper. I will return tomorrow, after nightfall, and you will let me feed on the nightmares, or face instant death. Niffle stands stiff and tall with his back against the basement, and the shadow entity comes closer, looking deep at Niffle's eyes, and turns his head and floats away out of the cavern. Phew, the nightmares are safe for now, but the entity will be back. Niffle must think of a plan. The humans that dream are so special, we can't have them having nightmares. Niffle's battle with the dark entity is far from over. What will he do to protect the dreams from the encroaching darkness? The answer lies in the hours yet to come.